Hey guys, Mike here. How's everybody doing? Who do we got on here? Wait a couple minutes, see who jumps on. We got some beautiful eggs to cut today. We're on uh, day 61 of our... Herpers Hollow, hey, how's it going? We got a sugar to a super pastel vanilla clutch. This was uh, number seven. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Uh, this was clutch number seven for the year. And uh, we have four eggs to, uh, so yeah, day 61. I normally wait for the first pip, but uh, I'm getting a little, you know, a little worried. We're on day 61 here. So I uh, definitely want to see what's going on. And uh, yeah, want to make sure these beautiful babies have a good chance at life. So don't want to take any chances. So we're going to cut, but before that, I want to show you guys the uh, babies after the shed out because they are amazing, amazing looking babies. So I'm going to grab those, show you guys. Um, hold on. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, Facebook, you probably already seen these beautiful babies. But um, man, I'm so happy with the turnout, especially on this little one. So here we have ourselves one of them. And obviously we got a champagne here. And then we got, look at these, side by side. Look at this beautiful baby right here. We got a pumpkin champagne orange dream. Just absolutely stunning. Munson Burner, hey, how's it going? Iron Dog, hey! So yeah, this one just, I mean, just stunning. Just absolutely stunning. Yeah, turned out gorgeous. I'll grab the third one so you guys can see. Hey, how's it going, Aldo? And then the last one, just a normal. Nice dark down the back, but just a beautiful normal. I say just, like, I don't know why I say that, just. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous classic right there. So there we go, that's that little clutch, three egg clutch. And that's what we got out of that three egg clutch. Turned out really, really well. Hey, turtle girl, how's it going? Yeah. It's super dark, right? I mean, look at that. That's just crazy. Crazy how dark. I mean, that is just black, solid. Yeah. So, yeah, it turned out, turned out just amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing. So... All right, who's ready to cut some beautiful eggs? How's everybody doing? I haven't I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I've been slacking, I know. I've been slacking. You don't got to say it. I know it. I know it. That's probably why you guys not liking a video because I've been gone so long. You forgot how to do this. Hey, all time. How's it going? Uh, the expo, um, you know, I had fun. I, 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 I always have fun uh, because I love the interaction and stuff. Uh, Sales-wise, it was soft. Um, and 
obviously the, the so that means traffic was slow. Here, here's the thing. So this was Albany, Oregon. This is the first time they've done it, and they normally did this show in Puyallup, Washington, uh, every October. This year they moved it uh, to the end of the month because they're trying to keep them every three months. So they're doing. They used to do two shows a year. They used to do Oregon and uh, Washington. Now they're doing four times a year, and they're alternating. So every three months, it's Washington, Oregon, Washington, Oregon, uh, trying to keep the consistency, you know, every 12 weeks or so. So this, it just happened to work out to be at the end of October. You know, we were talking and I was talking to the promoters and we're kind of on the same page as in it, you know, the reptile crowd is kind of like the Halloween crowd, right? The same type of people. So, um... So I wonder how many people were doing like last minute Halloween shopping and doing prep and house prep, whatever, um, to to get ready for Halloween. And they're like, oh, we'll just catch the next reptile show because, you know, they happen all the time. Uh, so so we're thinking possibly that that was the case. So they're going to move it up next year. I think they're going to do mid-October rather than the end of October. Um might do some collaborating as far as giveaways with them as well to get some promotions out ahead of time. So, um, it, hey, I had fun. I had fun, you know. If other vendors didn't have fun, that's on them. I, I had a blast. So, and I always have a blast because when the little kiddos come around, you know, and you get them holding a snake, that's, that's like the best. So, especially if they've never held one, that's, that's even better. So, all right. I don't know what is up with my phone lately and YouTube. I used to be able to scroll really easily through you guys' comments. Oh, I got to touch it in the right section of the f screen. That is just weird. That is totally we weird. All time, I know you did a show. I know you did a video on it. Uh, how 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 was that? Was it busy or that Idaho show you did? Yeah, it's fun. That's the thing. These shows just, I mean, for me, it's just fun. I mean, whether I sell snake or not, I mean, honestly, it's, I, I have a blast. So, Idaho is slow. Uh, uh, I think that was a one day show, too. So, all right. Are you guys, are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready to uh, cut some eggs and see some babies and see what we got in here? Give me some thumbs up if you're ready. Oh, 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 those are going to be vending. Billings, Montana show? No way. Man, I might actually have to make it up there. I might actually have to make it up there. So, uh... Eventually, I got to start vending that show because of the Reptichip stuff. Uh, but, uh, well, uh, I have to figure out all the details and timelines and all that stuff with my, you know, other job and all that. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? This is going to be easy because I'm just going to go just like that. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, we'll take these out because we don't need these. Just to prevent them from rolling around. All right, and these are starting to lose their moisture. And they're pretty tough. They are pretty, pretty tough. All right. Let's see what we got. 
So this, for those that didn't get jump on uh, early enough, this is a sugar to a super pastel vanilla. So we got lots of great opportunities. I see light coloring. Hmm. I'm not feeling I There we go. There we go. We got motion. Okay. I was I a was, uh, uh, little worried there. little worried there. Oh, boy. All right. Let me bring this up to you guys. You guys can kind of take a peek in there. Because they haven't pipped, I really don't want to disrupt them too much. These are pretty small eggs. Um, so... All right. Let's see. Another super light egg, and super light baby. We all know the egg is like, obviously. Whoa. Whoa. That's some crazy pattern. Oh, straight to the head. Hello. Did I make you take your first breath? Oh. There we go, guys. I don't know if you guys can see right there. We got a head straight up top. Woo. A little gooey here. We got some really light babies here. So obviously everything's gonna be at least pastel. And right now what I'm seeing in there is definitely some vanilla. I do not see any sugar. Uh, the sugar is gonna be really easy to tell because it's gonna have those high whites in there. All right, this egg is a little bit bigger. Wow. All right. That is definitely, we might have our first pastel vanilla sugar. Wow. That is stunning. That is stunning. Hope you guys can see that. That looks amazing. Amazing. Holy cow, that pattern. Wow.
All right, let's see what we got. And that just looks like a pastel to me. There we go. But that one, that one just looks like a pastel. Man, oh man, we definitely got some vanillas in here. That one looks definitely like a pastel vanilla sugar. That's just some amazing pattern right there going on. All right, well, they're healthy. That's the number one thing. They're healthy. So I'm happy. I was getting a little worried. 61 days. 61 days, no pip. So, uh... Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Because uh, you know those nerves, guys. You guys know, for those of you that breed, it's, uh, yeah, it's stressful when you don't start seeing pips after day like 57. I mean, tell me if I'm the only one. You know, I, maybe I am the only one, but day 57 and I like start stressing out. So this whole week has been like stress central. Uh, because I knew it was coming up. I knew it was coming up. And, you know, especially once it starts hitting 60, 61 days and you got no pips at all. It's like, holy cow. I mean, I, I, obviously I would have cut this one on, um, clutch number four, four was the same. Very, very stressful. Yeah. Although it's, oh, I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Um, but yeah, yeah, just, it's nerve wracking, nerve wracking for sure. So, um, but I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so we can chat, we can chat. What's going on with everybody? How's there, how's everybody's weekend going on? What's everybody doing this weekend? People watching, uh, college football today. I got ooze everywhere. Ooze everywhere here. I got a feeding day today too. My rodents finally came yesterday. Cleaning snake poop. Yes, I'm in the same boat. I'm uh, cutting eggs, uh, cleaning poop, uh, feeding them today. Uh, so, and then tomorrow evening, I'll be doing some introductions, uh, you know, with some boys and some girls caging. I got my breeding plan all finalized. So, yeah. Deep clean tubs today, Iron Dog, yep. Hey, CJ, you got awesome night? Good, nice. You won a spinner blast from DCR. Nice, very, very cool. Love giveaways. I love giveaways. I love doing giveaways. I like entering giveaways. I like supporting other breeders. So that's awesome. Hey, Christopher, how's it going over there on the East Coast? Going through a lot of the sheds, so you're going to get a lot of sheds. You're buying more snakes. Who are you buying them from this time? They're still the same. Because you picked up some nice stuff for sure. Christopher, you do got any videos up? Do you do unboxings or... We all want more snakes than we can afford. That's that's everybody on here. That's for sure. Constriction addiction, same place. All right. 
So he must be taking good care of you because I know you're you keep going back to him, so. And Will Banks. You know, Mike Will Banks used to uh do um reptile ring and I don't know what happened like all of a sudden like there's nothing going on for the last I would say two three months he hasn't had any auctions on there I mean there's like one or two boas but it's never from him like I don't understand I don't know if he's just selling off uh, his stuff on morph market or what but yeah I don't know that uh He's not doing a whole lot of that. It's a lot of snakes there. He did. He moved over to Morph Market. So is he just abandoning the uh, reptile ring? Because I, I thought that that was uh, working pretty well for him for a while. I... I didn't realize he had issues with that. And I think he was taking a percentage of everything else that people were selling on there. But I guess some of the stuff was going pretty cheap. So. He's probably, maybe he's just making more on Morph Market. All right, so uh, who's breeding and who's got some exciting going on? What's your, what's your like, the female that you are like got ready and you're ready to go with it or you're just like so close and uh, you can't wait till she gets the size so you can pair her? Tell me what it is. We all hate autocorrect. I, I despise autocorrect. I hate... Also, speech to text. A lot of time when I'm driving, I'll do speech to text on a feed on the YouTube feed, and it like totally jacks my whatever I'm saying. It just makes it sound all stupid. Of course, I can't re reread it because I'm watching the road, so I hit send, and then it just looks idiotic on the screen. That's me. Uh, Sable. Uh, Proven Head Clown, is that what that is? Say what Proven Head Clown. Uh, Ghost Mojave. Nice. Oh, Aldo. That, that's a nice pickup. That is a nice pickup. 2,000 gram... Pied female ready to go. Man. Pause head. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure I was reading that right. Hey, Samaya. Welcome on. Bumblebee girl. Be ready for next year. Very nice. Very nice. Should breed her to an orange dream if you can get a hold of an orange dream. Uh, it'll help that uh, bumblebee hold on to the uh, to that coloring so it doesn't brown out over time. Looks really, really nice. Ooh, Firemon boy. Female pie now doesn't have to be. Are you looking for a female pie? Uh, where are you at, George? Maybe there's somebody on here can help you out. I mean, I have a female pie, but maybe somebody else is on here that has a female pie that can help you out. So I might want to throw out your location. Somebody might be near. You might even even uh, be able to save on shipping. Hey, 
Hey, hey. We all we all start somewhere. So I mean, it's. I didn't get that many clutches last year. Honestly, this this year wasn't that fantastic either. Um, but you know, it explodes. That's the thing. Once you hit year four, year five. Man, you got so many females ready to go. That's that's when it starts really going hectic. Oh yeah, I mean, there's always plenty of females on Morph Market. It just depends what you're looking for, and you know, sometimes if you got a breeder that's really close um, in the local community, you can you know eliminate that shipping expense, still get it at a good price. So. Or just the local expos. There was a ton of pides, honestly. There was a lot of pides at the uh, uh, Albany, Oregon um, expo. So, still very popular. Uh, the bananas, man, bananas were really popular too. It's like people were snatching those up left and right. It's It's crazy. Yellow belly gravel. Uh, you want a yellow belly slash gravel. You want a yellow belly gravel. Because yellow belly gravel would obviously be a highway. You know, you might want to check with um, Miguel at Always Evolving Pythons. I know he's got a bunch of gravels that he just uh, hatched out. And they are proven gravels because they came from a super gravel. So you may want to reach out to him and just see uh, what his pricing on those is going to be. He's in California, Southern California. So he's a great guy, great channel too. So check him out. You want a highway. Okay. Yeah, boy highway is a little harder to come by, obviously, than the than the girls. I see a lot more girls available uh, than the boys. But, you know, if breeders have boys, they're they're more willing at this point to kind of let, let boys go if they hatch new ones. Hey, Josh, thanks for jumping on. How's it going? I think we're missing seven likes because people came in late and they didn't see the beautiful babies I showed. So maybe I'll grab those and you guys can fix that problem. Here we go. This is from that last clutch. Stunners. Obviously just the champagne right here. And then we got a pumpkin champagne orange dream. Beautiful. Beautiful. Stunning. Yeah. Love these. Love these. Very small. You know, I'm kind of curious how much they weigh. Let's find out here because these babies are tiny. Yep. Whopping 40 grams. 40 grams. So, wow. Wow. All right, and uh, if you missed the egg cutting, I guess you're going to have to watch this back later and see the beautiful, beautiful eggs that we cut. Uh, looks like we got at least two pastel uh, vanillas, a pastel vanilla uh, sugar, and then the last one looks like a pastel to me. 
Uh, but obviously we'll wait till they come out, shed out, take a closer look. I'll probably just do a, a review on those or shed out video on those when I do the next clutch uh, cutting, clutch number eight. And I think that's like towards the end of the month. So it's still, still got girls that are, I'm telling you, they're like moved all the bedding to the sides and they are like chilling there right on the, on the heat tape. So I'm um, pretty sure that they're, they're, they're going to go. So it's crazy. Weird year. Really weird year. You guys know what I've been through. If you don't, I guess you didn't binge watch. So that's time to binge watch and catch up. Get the whole story in there. So, but yeah. So a lot of stuff going on this year. And so it just kind of threw the whole season into whack. Uh, shirts are very popular. Yes. These, you know, these shirts are like, I, I didn't think they were going to be as popular as, um, as they are. Uh, I will tell you the only thing that's not popular is the pink shirt. Uh, it's the last time I'm listening to my friends that are girls. Yeah. You know, I, I was like, they're like, they told me get some pink shirts. I'm like the pink, nobody's going to want pink. Like, do you, do you know reptile people? Nobody's going to want... No, they're going to want pink. I have yet to sell a pink shirt. Zero. Zero pink shirt sold. I'm sitting on a whole bunch of pink shirts. So, if you want a pink shirt, uh, they don't want the pink shirts. They don't want the pink shirts. J. Dottie and Blanca do not want the pink shirts. I will tell you. Nobody wanted the pink shirts. Every... The most popular is black, okay? So I guess that tells you a little bit about reptile people. Uh, like literally 80% is all black. Uh, the gray was the next most popular. And then the, uh, like, a, it's, I don't know. I, I don't want to say it's navy blue because it's darker than a navy blue. Uh, well, no, it's, I guess, I don't know. It, it's a bluish color, uh, and that's the third. And then pink is at zero, so it's, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, but other than that, and surprisingly, extra large and double XL have been the two most popular sizes, which is also crazy because I didn't order enough of those. Like, I'm literally on back order on those uh, for all the people that want those. So, uh, but I think I'm going to change my material next time around, uh, maybe a little bit, uh, thinner, a lot of reptile people in, you know, California and Texas and Florida. And so all the people that are down there, this, this is a little warmer material. So, uh, it's great for up here, but in Washington, but, uh, you might cook in this in Florida. I don't know cotton so i don't know all right let's see what else i missed over here of course people laughing uh stickers stickers oh stickers uh i'm assuming you're asking about my stickers so my stickers, uh, I was actually just talking to Josh about this because I was contemplating about changing my logo. Uh, Josh says he likes my logo. Um, so I was waiting to see whether I was going to redo my logo or not before I ordered stickers. So I didn't order stickers yet. I have a vendor. Um, I just, I haven't placed the order, but... It sounds like I'm just going to do this because I need some stickers for my next show anyway. Uh, so I might just do the stickers. I'll probably do a whole bunch of giveaways on the stickers, tell you the truth. Um, probably every time I go live, I'll give away a sticker uh, or more. You know, it's like, I'll send you a sticker. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I like doing giveaways. I like making people happy. So 
You know, if a sticker makes you happy for your incubator or something, um, or where, wherever you want to stick it, on your skateboard, on your rack, I mean, wherever. Hey, hey, how's it going? What we got on here, Chevy Exotics. Yeah, so I'm going to get those stickers made up. I'll probably get those ordered uh, this week. And uh, yeah, and we'll, uh, do, we'll do some giveaways and see if uh, we can hand, hand some out to some supporters. So... Everybody like the logo? Does everybody like what? What's your what's your? Give me some comments and don't don't feel like you're gonna offend me. Like, is this too big? Is this too big of a logo? I was thinking about getting a, doing a smaller logo, and people told me don't get a smaller logo. But I'm kind of curious, you know, from more people, whether um, you know smaller logo will be better. I don't know if people like this big thing. You know, on a, that's perfect. You like, you like nice and big. And, uh, you know, obviously the back. Ask me about my balls. <coughs> I'm telling you, it's, uh, I just, I crack myself up every time I walk around my shirt and people start laughing behind me and I, I look and they're just your shirt <laughs> oh man it's funny all right Laura how's it going well I'm glad everybody lo loves the loves the shirt I guess I guess that that's that's pretty much a consensus I guess my thoughts are no and void and we're gonna stick with the big logo on the shirt so, but I'll probably just maybe do a different material next time around. If you are looking for a shirt, uh, just uh, let me know uh, through Gmail um, at bullpythonboulevard.gmail.com or you can shoot me a message through our business page on Facebook. I respond to everybody pretty quickly through that forum. The worst one is sending me a message on Instagram for some reason but that icon is so tiny up there in that corner for the messages like I 90% of the time I'll miss it I'll, I'll miss that for at least a day Josh can tell you uh, that it takes at least for me a day or two if not more to respond to an Instagram message versus uh, me responding like that on Facebook and email obviously my phone goes off right away if you send me an email so um, yeah and if you got any cool stuff you got some stickers or swag or something you want to send me our address is always at the bottom of uh, the videos after they post so you can always and I will pop that sticker on my incubator you can be you can be part of my incubator. All right. Uh, so babies, one more time. I'll show you guys one more time here. These beautiful, beautiful babies. And I know a little hard to see. Guys. Sorry for that interruption. That was my mom calling me. Um, so, but yeah. So we cut those earlier. So if you missed it, you're going to have to go back to the beginning and watch from the beginning. Or just go back to my first video I ever posted and just do some binge watching. I mean, that's always the best, right? That's what I say. Uh they may they may look big, Josh, but they're tiny. Okay, these these are gonna be some more forty gram babies. There's one big egg. That's it. One big egg right here. These guys are tiny, like super super tiny. Look at look at this compared to my hand. It's tiny. 
maybe it just looks big in the bin. Uh, but yeah, they're they're pretty they're pretty small uh, compared to like the ones that are still in the incubator. They're they're yeah, forty gram. I, I I will pretty much put money on that we got forty gram babies in here, uh, and then maybe that big one might be like fifty five. Fifty five. We can take bets. Maybe somebody can win something if you're right. Maybe. That could be a good one. You could do uh, some kind of giveaway for that. Right? One comes closest. What do you think? All right. Uh, but I've been on here long enough and I don't see a whole ton of messages. So I'm going to let you guys go. Hopefully it's not going to be as long till my next video. You know, I'm feeding snakes tonight. Maybe I'll just go live tonight and you guys can just watch me feed some snakes. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Does that sound like exciting at all? We're getting guesses over here on 175 grams on all four. Who likes feeding videos? Anybody like feeding videos? Especially when it's not live stuff. Josh wants to watch. Josh is a night owl. That, that man, you could, you could text message that guy at 2 a.m. And he will respond to you. All right, I guess I'm doing a feeding video later on today. I mean, for for you uh, East Coast folks, uh, it's going to be like an 11 p.m. video because I usually start feeding about 8 p.m., which is like two hours away. They're defrosting already. They're kind of sitting there chilling and defrosting. Um, so, yeah, it'll be, it'll be late. But I'm sure, you know, you party people on the East Coast, uh, you're going to be awake anyway. Because, like, the clubs don't even shut down till 6 a.m. over there. So, I'm sure, I'm sure you're awake. I'm sure you're awake. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, we're, we're on. So, I'll see you guys in uh, roughly two hours or so. Probably like go eight o'clock, so uh, eight o'clock Pacific uh, Standard Time. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I don't know what that is in Mountain. Surely don't know what that is Central. I think it's two hours uh, ahead, and then East Coast would be three hours. I would know that because I am from the East Coast. Um, All right. All right, guys. So, uh, like I said, if you missed checking this out, watch it after it post and uh, give me some love on the video. Let me also know what kind of videos you guys want to see because, honestly, I'm trying to come up with ideas on kind of what you guys want to see. So, I would love to get some comments uh, in the feed after this post on what you want to see what kind of videos uh, you enjoy the most. And I would love to do something like that, guys. All right. I'll see you guys later. I'm sure there'll be a couple links up here as usual. Have a great one. Love you. God bless. See you at eight.